The online media outlet known as African Stream has been taken off the air. It's been taken off YouTube, taken off Instagram, I believe, and taken off Facebook. And this is particularly newsworthy for me because it really demonstrates a very, very critical point. We as black people or African people around the world don't really have any of our own platforms, really viable media platforms, online media platforms that we control, that are controlled by Africans, by black people. All of the things we use to share our videos, to share our podcasts and our vlogs and our this, that and the other, all of the, pla all of the actual websites that we use and that we depend upon for reach are corporate owned. So YouTube, of course, is owned by Google. We use YouTube, we use Facebook, we use Instagram, we use TikTok. None of those things are controlled or owned by black people, by African people. The reason that's important is that when you then have a channel, say, like African Stream, which is going, which is putting out, my understanding is that they put out a lot of critical content with regard to the West in general. And, and the thing that seems to have particularly got them, got them taken off air was their criticism of uh, the US government's actions in the country of Somalia in East Africa. Now, if you're going to go out, if you're going to be criticising the, 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 the West, if you're going to be criticising Western corporations, if you're going to be put, if you're going to be using these platforms to criticise the corporations and to criticise the governments and criticize this, that and the other, then you have to be prepared for those people to turn around and say, well, you're not going to use our platform anymore to do this and just cut you off. This has happened to African Stream, it's happened to many other many other web brands in the past. And actually as well, let's be honest, let's be kind of fair about, transparent about this. A lot of so-called white supremacist, uh, eugenic oriented people have been deplatformed from from YouTube and Facebook too. You know, Twitter or X has become a bastion for these people. That's Elon Musk's prerogative. I don't, you know, he can do what he wants to do. X is his. He fronts up the cash so he can do whatever the heck he wants to do with X. You know, and the same goes for Google. The same goes for Meta. This is how it works. Unfortunately, or you might say it's unfortunately, this is how the world works. If you control a, 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 a corporation or a platform, some kind of infrastructure... It's pro if it's privately owned, you can decide what you want to do about it. So what are we to do as black people, as African people in this, in this day and age? Well, it's very obvious. People will say, oh, we need to create our own platforms. We need to, I mean, that is true. I've been hearing this, you know, I've been on YouTube here for, since 2009. I, I've been on the internet, if you like. I remember my youth, there was no internet, put it that way. And I remember the internet coming up. I was there. We were there. People of my generation, kind of late Gen Xers. We were there, or mid Gen Xers. We were there when the internet was really coming into the fore. Where were we as black people? Unfortunately, we were just consumers. Consumers, consumers, as Marcus Garvey would say. Consumers. Just consuming, consuming. Not building. Not organising our own infrastructure. Not building our own websites even. Not building our own streaming platforms. We didn't do any of that. We haven't done any of that. Africans in particular, obviously, unfortunately, when the internet was in its nascent period, Africa, the web access in Africa was, was pretty poor. And this is a sign of our underdevelopment that even to this day, having, having, having reliable broadband, strong broadband access in Africa, wireless broadband access as well in Africa, is, is, is you, you can't rely on that. It's, you know, and... And unfortunately, this is this is where we are. Here we are, 20 plus years since the internet has been part and parcel of everyday life. And there still is not an, a, a, a strong African-owned platform or black-owned website even, streaming platform that can be relied upon to A, store our, our content, but also B, disseminate our content. Because that's the most important thing. Like I said, you can create your website, that's fine. There's loads of people have created these streaming sites, but th that's that's the easy part. You know, just storing videos, that's the easy part. The hard part is putting in the development work to build those algorithms to be able to disseminate the videos far and wide and intelligently in a way that will actually help the, the, the reach of these videos to grow. That's what YouTube does itself really well. And that's what we need to do. But, you know, here, here we are, 2024, and, and, and no one's done that yet from a black perspective. No, no independently owned platform still exists, viable platform exists. And the other thing as well I want to say is that 
we ought to be thinking ahead. We ought to be looking into the future. There are technologies out there that we can be utilizing, which are still in their early periods, their formative periods that we could be utilizing to get a head start, you know, in, 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 in prepare ourselves for the next phase of this kind of web 2.0, if you like. One of those, of course, is AI, large language models. We should be all over that. Chat GPT is free. We should be all over that, building models that will, that will help us to answer the questions that we have and to, to give us, to the, the disseminate the information. Talking about education, I talk a lot about education, for example. We should be building models on Chat GPT that will enable us to be able to teach our children effectively the things that they need to know. How many of us are even doing that? Do, it's there, Chat GPT is there and it's free. But for some reason, us as a people, as black people, we, we are probably not even using it as best as we can do. The other thing as well is to say is that there's blockchain technology. Blockchain is something that's, that's particularly interesting for me because, for example, funding. You know, we could be funding each other using blockchain, permissionless blockchain. And by that, I'm talking particularly about Bitcoin. We could be using Bitcoin to fund our brothers and sisters who are doing things that we, we like. But instead, we rely on Stripe, on PayPal, on these corporate platforms on Patreon, Substack, I use Substack, buy me a coffee, I use all these things, they could in an instant, if those platforms got a call from whichever you know government agency, they could in an instant block off my access to all those things and I'd be, I'd be done and dusted, you know. And the same goes for all of these other platforms as well. I, I see people on, you know, talking about African streams saying, oh, well, you can use Patreon and you can have your, you can talk about whatever you want to on Patreon. Yeah, you can for now until Patreon get that call and they have to make a decision between do we want to pee off the US government or do we want to just close down this small channel which brings in very little for us. They'll close down your channel in an instant, <laughs> you know, so... This is just a, just a very quick impromptu video and a call for us as African people and black people, and even just people generally speaking who want to, who value the importance of independence and, you know, not being so dependent on corporate entities. This is a call to all of us to one, make sure you're supporting those content creators and the, who, who, are, who you like, support them. I send a big shout out to all of you guys who've bought me a coffee, who are my Substack subscribers. There's a handful of Substack subscribers from 19 Olong. Big up your status. Uh, you know, support the channels that you like. Support Kimbunga Media. Check them out if you don't know Kimbunga Media. I'd say the best platform here in the UK for progressive Pan-African content here in the UK. And secondly, if you're a smart cookie, please sit down and start to come up with some solutions for these issues that we have with regard to having the conversations that we want to have and sharing the content that we want to share. All right, take care. This is just an impromptu video. Proper vid Next week I'll upload a proper video, one of my more normal videos, getting it. We're going to be talking about African students in education here in the UK, just to give you a, 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 a brief uh, snippet. So look out for that one. Uh, there are other videos on this channel, which I'm sure you'd enjoy. There's one here, which YouTube would recommend. And then there's also one here, which connects somewhat to the topic of this video. All right, take good care. My name's Eli Wananda, and I'll see you next time. Peace.